What's up everybody, welcome to my channel, John's Daily Hustle. So for those of you that don't know me and know my types of videos, this behind the scenes type of video is just a video to kind of catch you guys up as to where I've been and what I've been doing in between all the other videos that you guys see. One thing you guys should know about my channel, if you don't already know it, if you're maybe new or maybe you just didn't know it to begin with, but I record a lot of content. That way you guys have lots of videos being uploaded throughout the weeks or upcoming days anyways. So sometimes when you see my video, it's not in real time. It may have been recorded back in the beginning of the season, could have been recorded last season, could have been recorded yesterday. But I try to do these little behind the scenes videos to kind of bring you guys up on what's going on and kind of give you guys spoilers on upcoming videos. By the way, I know some of you guys already know about it, but in this video, there's gonna be a spoiler on an upcoming video for next week, I believe. By the time you guys see this, I do believe next week, uh, a very good video will be revealed that I know some of you guys have been waiting for. That's all I can say. All right, so man, it has been an absolutely crazy couple of weeks. From picking up so many more jobs and so many more customers, I've already gotten well over my goal for this year. I've just been completely busy. One of my videos that you guys are gonna be seeing here real soon is how am I doing this season? How's my business doing? Am I hitting my goals? as I've kind of already spoiled for you guys. But anyways, as well as we've had a very rainy season this year, and now finally the heat has finally kicked in. I mean, my God, it's finally gotten really hot. We had a really cool year all the way up until now, but we're still having a very wet year. It's, we're getting a lot of rain and the grass is still growing. This time last year, I wasn't mowing every week. Now to kind of catch you guys up and bring you up to speed, some of my customers aren't getting mowed every week. Some of them I am able to skip every other week anyways now because of how much it's not growing in that area but I'm still mowing a bunch more than what I was this time last year. So we've had a very wet and rainy season. All right, so now getting into the nitty gritty of this video on what I've been doing and how crazy things have been getting for me the last few weeks. As you guys may have seen, I finally got me a real toolbox. Part of me getting this toolbox was I wanted to become more organized. Please excuse my mess over here, my mess right here. I am working on it. I was honestly just getting tired of, you know, having a bunch of mess up here on my shelf and having a mess right here and having to search for tools and climb over stuff to get my to my toolbox there to hunt through tools there and hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. So I finally went out and splurged and bought me a pretty nice toolbox and it's not completely organized yet as you guys can kind of see I've kind of got stuff scattered throughout all over the place uh, somewhat. I kind of have an idea on how I want it laid out anyways but I'm planning on making it very organized to where each drawer is for something different and I know exactly where it's at. I might even label it on the front of it here to where if somebody's over here helping me work on something, they'll be able to find what they're looking for. And I've got a nice little tool organization video I'm gonna make for you guys, but that may be coming up in a couple of later weeks. And of course, don't, don't worry, I will be ripping the stickers off. The thing I do like about it is right here. This is gonna become my new battery charging station. This toolbox did come with outlets over here as well as two USB ports. So I can plug all of my stuff in. As you guys can see, I'll be able to charge my batteries in here and I'll be able to come here now. So I'll be able to do something different with my shelf. Don't worry about this up here. This is just up here to get it out of my way. I also got me a paper towel holder to where I can stick this to the side of it as well as just a little tray there for whatever I want to store in it. Let's go ahead and pull these bad boys out and install them. I'll say these things are pretty heavy duty. I just gotta get paper towels to put in there. That's magnetized. They actually are pretty strong too. I'm pretty impressed. Now the parts tray, get out of there. They're made with pretty good quality and they stick on there very well. I have no idea exactly what I'm gonna put in the tray yet, but it's just nice to have. And I know those aren't completely level. I'm just kind of doing this video for a video reference. Which by the way, if you guys are interested in getting you a paper towel rack or a some kind of tray holder that's magnetized for your toolbox, I will put a link to those in the description below just in case you guys are interested. I got the toolbox in here. I'm very happy about it. And we got this cleaned up just a little bit anyways, but it's not perfect. Eventually this stuff's gonna get moved and I'm actually gonna have an air compressor sit right there. Now that we've cleaned up a little bit over here, I've got to clean this mess up. I was originally going to get a shed and put a bunch of this stuff out there in it. And I haven't officially decided the fate of this mower yet, but I do believe it's possibly going to get kicked out. So I'm gonna try to move some of the stuff around because I want more space in my garage. Any hours later. Now that's a little bit better. Got things a little more organized. I have a little bit more room and I was already able to take the tools out of my cheap toolbox there and put it over in the toolbox. I have more room to work now and I can move this around easily and everything. I was going to buy one of those sheds that you can buy at Lowe's. They're kind of not quite portable, but you can build them up and take them apart and move and stuff with them. They're not that expensive. I was going to buy one of those from Lowe's and put most of this stuff in it, like my aerator 
and my dethatcher and as well as that old mower which that mower over there is the one I got from the junk removal I did I was in the middle of filming a very satisfying video that you guys still haven't seen yet unfortunately and it ended up breaking on me so I'll get to that in a later video on what broke on that you guys will eventually see a very very satisfying video with that old mower um, but I just need more room to film with it because the place my backyard is not big enough to film the video I was going to film in it as well as, as I mentioned just a few minutes before, I was going to buy an actual pretty big air compressor that I want to go right there. And I mean, it was going to be a decent size air compressor just because I really want one. I think I could use one. But we had a few breakdowns that happened and that kind of messed things up. But I'll get into that here in just a little bit. Right, so on top of getting all organized and stuff over here, something else I've been dealing with. We've been dealing with a lot of breakdowns. The truck actually broke down a week ago. The oil pressure switch went out on it and it completely threw me off a whole day before I could get it fixed. And unfortunately, I'm sorry I have to say it, but my X mark is finally letting me down. It's been giving me some problems. Some of you guys might have noticed it in one of my videos. You can go check that video out right there. That it seems like it was cutting out every time that I was hitting a small bump. Well, that issue has gotten a lot worse. And now it cuts out anytime I hit just a little bit of rock. And it completely cuts out. Originally, the dealer told me that, oh yeah, it was probably just a... You know, a bad idler pulley on it, but now that's not the case. It's something far worse. I believe it's definitely just an electrical problem or some kind of short in it, but while it's under warranty, I'm trying to get it taken care of. But we'll touch base on that in a later video. I'll go over exactly what's wrong with it and what I did to fix it and what's been going on with it. But I'm just waiting to try and get that fixed to where I know exactly what's wrong with it before I tell you guys. The problem I'm having, as you guys notice, there's only two trimmers up there, and I actually have three of them total now. One of the trimmers is missing. It's actually my brand new Echo that I had just bought back in December, the SRM225. It's been giving me all kinds of problems. It has barely 20 hours on it and I had to take it back and to the dealer. Here while that's under warranty, I'll go ahead and let them work on that too. But I'm gonna tell you guys about my experience with that in a later video as well because I'm not having too good of an experience with that either. Now, as for the HyperTuff trimmer, I know a lot of you guys are very interested on seeing more content with that and an update on it. And I promise you guys, I've got content coming for it. And I have a kind of a short-term commercial use review coming for it. As well as I've got several other videos of me just beating on it and showing you guys stuff on it. In fact, the next video you guys should see of the HyperTuff trimmer will be probably next week creeping into the weekend of next week, possibly not this Saturday, but the Saturday after that, I do believe I have a video planned I'm gonna upload then with this one to where you guys will start seeing content with that again. As well as I still have to get around to editing my review of the Darwin Grips. I'm actually currently waiting on a response back from the company of Darwin Grip as I do have an issue with it. So I'm waiting to see what they say and if they'll stand behind their product before I do my review of it. On top of all this, my wife's car decided it was gonna break down. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with my wife's car. Its problems are much worse than my truck was. So on top of that, my wife and I are down to just using one vehicle, and that's my truck. So I'm back and forth driving her back and forth to work and wherever else we got to go on top of mowing. As you guys can see and hear from everything that I have going on, I've been very busy, and that's why I haven't really been active on YouTube. But once again, this year has just been absolutely crazy for me. So on top of all this, I've been getting a lot of stuff in. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of reviews on. I've got some new accessories for recording videos. I'm gonna have a whole nother type of videos being made with you know different kinds of angles and stuff like that. They're gonna be made real soon. You guys are gonna start seeing some changes and hopefully it'll be even better content. That's everything that's been going on in my life. It's been pretty crazy here. We've been very busy and just trying to stay on top of things as well as trying to enjoy life at the same time at the same time too. You guys know that's very important. You gotta enjoy life when you can. So again if you guys could just bear with me here for another week or two my content's gonna start rolling back in again and I've got some very good juicy videos for you guys. Just a matter of I need time to edit the videos and upload them and get back to being active in the community. But anyways, I always appreciate all y'all's support. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Also, don't forget, next week, I'm going to be dropping something big.